my name is Sophia, and the GT project I chose was the Bermuda um, Enigmas. And then the Enigma I chose was the Bermuda Triangle. So first, they had us use some guiding questions. One was, how do scientists explain the Bermuda Triangle? Number one was human error, as in like them getting lost, and another one was bad weather, like lightning, storms, thunder. And another one was rogue waves. They're really common in that area. And they're like really big ray waves that can get a height of 50 to 80 feet high. Another one, another question was, how has the understanding changed over time? So Christopher Columbus used to think that a meteor had crashed into the ocean and that was the cause of the Bermuda Triangle. Then people started thinking it was a hole in the ocean. Now people think it could be aliens, time warps, and rogue waves. And the description is, it's a section of the North Atlantic Ocean off North America. 50 ships and 20 airplanes have mysteriously disappeared, but that's not the exact number. Scientists don't know the exact number. It's a vaguely triangular shape, and it's marked by the Atlantic coast of the Florida Panhandle, and the rogue waves are very likely to occur in that area. So then we filled out this, and they're kind of the same questions up here. Um, another one was some unanswered questions about the Enigma or the exact number of ships or planes that have disappeared and the result and like what the actual cause of the Bermuda Triangle is. So then, here, then they had us do an experiment. So my, what I think the cause for the Bermuda Triangle is, is rogue waves and magnetism. So they had us do an experiment to prove this. So the problem, why do so many ships sink in the Bermuda Triangle? Hypothesis. I think that the ship sinks because first a rogue wave in the bottom of the floor messes, no, first a, a magnet in the bottom of the floor messes with the radar, and then a rogue wave pulls the sh a ship down, and then the magnets click, and it keeps the sh uh, ship down there, and then it just disintegrates over time. So then the materials they used was a ship made out of foil, a bucket, water, cup, tape, and magnets. So first, I filled up a bucket of water and I made a foil boat, and then I taped a magnet to the bottom of the boat, and I put another magnet on the bottom of the bucket. So then I took a cup and I splashed the ship oh, like from the top to kind of create what a rogue wave would look like, and then the magnets clicked and the boat stayed underwater. So observations. As soon as the water hit the foil boat, it sank underwater, and the magnets helped the boat stay under. So the conclusion, what do I still not understand about the Bermuda Triangle? How was it first formed and like how were the magnets put there? What do scientists still not understand about the Enigma? The exact number of disappearances. Nobody really knows where the ships go because they never find the remains of any ships that have sunk there. And then for the last thing, they made us create a board game. So mine is called Truth or Lie for Mew Triangle Edition. So this is my board game. Basically how it works is this is the instructions. So for it's made for two to 10 players. The order of the players will go from the youngest to oldest. As the players will start their tokens on the start block, the first player will have someone else draw a card and cover the bag so they can't see the answer. Depending on the corner, the color of the corner of the card, um, they will follow the following instructions. So if you get a white card like this, you will just uh, follow the instructions on the card. But if you get a card like this and you get a silver chipped card that means that um, you will bet a number um, up from up to three depending on if you know the card or not and then the players around you will either say truth or lie whether they believe you or not so if you get the question right and let's just say you bet two then you will move forward two and the people who said that th you're lying they have to move backward two and if you get a card with a pink tip you will roll this dice right here. And if you get it right, you move forward the number that you roll. And if you get it wrong, you move backward the number that you roll. Now, if you get a card with golden dots around it, if you get the question right, you get to move forward four spaces. But if you get it wrong, you have to move backward four spaces. And that's it.